Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Mark Mochiro. And I'm Jonathan Dees. The Collegiate Assessment of Academic Proficiency will be administered on November 6th, November 9th, November 11th, and November 12th. Students must bring the admission ticket, a photo ID, a black ink pen, and two number two pencils to the Wharton Nursing Building on the assigned date. For more information, call 235-4145 or go by Nelson, room 203. A group of 14 business students from SAU recently got a closer look at the business world when they toured several financial institutions in New York. The trip was sponsored by the students in Free Enterprise. The trip also included students from the investment course at the university. The Dean of Science and Technology is looking for two international students to be guests at the Rotary Club in Magnolia. The Rotary Club meets every Thursday and the students will be asked to attend for four consecutive weeks. Students will simply observe the first three meetings and on the final meeting, the students will get a chance to speak about their country and its culture. University Computer Services will be conducting tests on telephone feeder cables this Friday. During this time, telephone services may be interrupted for brief periods. UCS is about one-third through the project to upgrade servers across campus. This upcoming weekend, the server hosting PC applications will also be upgraded. Therefore, access to server-based applications will be prevented during the morning and early afternoon hours. On Saturday, UCS will then be upgrading intra- and internet service. The course 3573 studies in theater department is being eliminated from the spring course offering here at SAU and will not be offered for another two years. In its place, SAU will offer the theater design. For more information on these changes, please contact David Murphy. The Emerging Writers Club held their first coffee house of 1999, October 28th. Lynn Belcher says that this coffee house allows all students the chance to come and share their work with their fellow students without the fear of being made fun of. This coffee house also in turn allows her to see what the students are capable of. The coffee house will be held three more times this semester on November 3rd, 17th, and December 12th. All meetings are at 2 p.m. in the Bruce Center. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Jonathan Dees. And I'm Mark Machiro. With the SAU Profile, I'm Eric Perry. And I'm Jonathan Wood. Matt Norton is in his first year of service with the Baptist Student Union. He serves as an assistant director with his main focus on freshman and evangelism. Matt graduated with a degree in psychology from Cumberland College in Williamsburg, Kentucky. He also displayed many leadership skills at Cumberland. Matt realized his calling for the college ministries when he was serving as a college director at Rich Pond Baptist Church in Bowling Green, Kentucky. As new students come to the SAU campus each year, they look for many types of organizations to be a part of. Matt leads them in family groups and also leads weekly Bible studies with the goal of providing students with spiritual and moral guidance. Overall, Matt hopes that the BSU will aid in helping students to adjust to campus life in a way that would be pleasing to God. If he could sum up what he wants the students to learn in one sentence, he says, God loves you just the way you are, but he refuses to leave you there. Matt Norton, working continually to give SAU students sound advice for their future. With an SAU profile, I'm Jonathan Wood. And I'm Eric Perry. SAU Sports, I'm Daniel Green. And I'm Heather Halter. The SAU cross country team finished out the season at the Gulf South Conference Cross Country Championships. Both the men and the women finished third place overall, and SAU is sending one Riderette and two riders to the NCAA Division II Regional Meet in South Carolina. The Riderette going is Beth Augenstein, who placed 13th overall out of 79 women runners. The two riders going are Alan Reyes and Leo Freyer. Good luck, riders. Tuesday, November the 2nd, the Riderette volleyball team played Arkansas Tech at 7 o'clock in the W.T. Watson Athletic Complex. The best out of five games were played. The score for the first game was Arkansas Tech 15, SAU 10. The second game was Arkansas Tech 15, SAU 7. The third and final game score was Arkansas Tech 15, SAU 6. Although the Riderettes took a defeat, they didn't go down without a fight. The Mule Rider football team was victorious this past Saturday at Delta State in Cleveland, Mississippi. SAU won big 24 to nothing. A win at Delta State keeps them at number three in the NCAA South region and number nine in the nation. 
Playing well for the Mule Riders were running back Jerry Bowman with 118 yards on 14 carries and Santario Morris with 84 yards off 17 carries and a touchdown. SAU plays Henderson next at Wilkins Stadium at 2 p.m. It is the last home game of the season, so if you haven't seen the Riders in action, this will be your last chance. Men's, women's, and co-ed intramural volleyball rosters are available in the intramural office in the gym, room 121. You can play on a men's or women's team and a co-ed team. The schedules will not conflict. If there are any questions, contact Kenny Mahon at 235-4141 or 235-4383. His office is also in the gym room 121. You can contact him by email at kemahon at mail.saumag.edu. Thanks for your support. SAU Sports, I'm Heather Halter. And I'm Daniel Green. With commentary, I'm Jamie Giddens. As some of you might have heard, a female SAU student was attacked last week on the way back to her dorm. The student had been out with a friend, never imagining the real-life terror that awaited her upon returning to the residence hall. The student said two unknown men attacked her. These men pulled and pushed this woman, ripping at her clothes all the while laughing sadistically at this woman whose only crime had been believing it was safe to walk on campus after dark. Thank God the two men fled at the sight of an oncoming car before they were able to cause any more harm. So it's over, right? Wrong. Not by a long shot. What happened to this person will shape the way she thinks, acts, and reacts to men in her life, and it will threaten to chip away at her sense of security and well-being. Chief Gary Odell would like to remind students of one solution to this problem that he and his fellow officers provide for the campus, the From Dust Till Dawn Escort Service. This service is provided for anyone on campus seven days a week. All you have to do is call UPD at 235-4100 and one of the on-duty officers will escort you to wherever it is on campus you want to go. I know what you're thinking. How stupid would it look to be escorted across campus by a cop? Well, I assume you'd rather look stupid than dead. With commentary, I'm Jamie Giddens. With an SAU police log, I'm Thomas Murphy. You may receive a telephone call from an individual identifying himself as an AT&T service technician that is running a test on your telephone line. He states that to complete the test, you should touch 9, 0, the pound sign, and then hang up. Luckily, some students were suspicious and refused. Upon contacting the telephone company, they were informed that by pushing 9, 0, the pound sign, and hanging up, you end up giving that individual access to your telephone line. This allows them to place a long-distance telephone call with the charges appearing on your telephone bill. So if you should get such a call, hang up immediately and notify the local telephone company. There was an incident reported to University Police Department that there was an attack on a female student by two unidentified male suspects. This incident took place between 9.30 and 10 p.m. Monday by the East Lane in front of the Greek Theater. The victim suffered bruises but did not need medical attention. If anyone saw anything pertaining to this incident, the campus police would appreciate it if you would contact them immediately at 235-4100. Campus police would like to inform everyone of the escort service that is available from dusk until dawn, seven days a week. If at any time you do not feel comfortable walking across campus, do not hesitate to call and they will have an officer accompany you to your vehicle or residence hall. With an SAU police log, I'm Thomas Murphy. I'm Michael Long with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. Murphy Oil and El Dorado will host campus-wide interviews for the position of Associate Accountant on Wednesday, November 10th. Accounting majors are preferred and must have a 2.75 overall GPA. All students interested should contact the Employment Resource Center in Nelson 211 or call 235-4097 to schedule an appointment. That number once again is 235-4097. Law Hans at 407 West Main in Magnolia is looking for two cashiers. The position offers 20 plus hours a week and some nights and weekends are required. Call Toby Longino at 234-6080 for an appointment and bring your class schedule to the interview. The Columbia County Ambulance Service is looking for a part-time EMT. You must be nationally or Arkansas certified to apply for the position. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call Doris Warren at 234-8654. That number once again is 234-8654. I'm Michael Long with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center.
with Entertainment News. I'm Angela Bradford. And I'm David Parkerson. The Merchants Friars Club will hold its 1999 Coffee House meeting on November 17th and December 12th in the Bruce Center Commuters Lounge. All meetings start at 2 p.m. The twice yearly event was last held on October 28th in the Brinson Art Building. The group was started by Lynn Belcher in 1993. Belcher allows aspiring writers the chance to express themselves in a non judgmental atmosphere. Feel free to join the 1999 Coffee House. Artist in residence Barbara Cade has an exhibition up in the Rosemary Arts and Education Gallery in the first floor of Miguel Library. The exhibition is called Search for Serenity and will be up through November 19th. The exhibition is open to the public and there is no charge for admission, so come on by. Hey Noah. Hey Noah is an original production presented by the Creative Traumatics class at Southern Arkansas University. Hey Noah is written, produced, choreographed, and costumed by the cast. Admissions is free. The play will be fun for children of all ages. After the Greek Step Show Saturday night, don't miss the after party at the Powerhouse, hosted by Alpha Phi Alpha and Phi Lambda Chi. All students are welcome to attend, and if you need directions to the Powerhouse, you can call 235-4772. The party starts as soon as the Step Show is over and won't end until 2 a.m. If you need directions to the Powerhouse, that number is 235-4775. With Entertainment News, I'm Angela Bradford. And I'm David Parkerson. SAU Magazine can now be heard over the Internet. In addition to airing on radio stations in Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma, the student-produced radio program is available in cyberspace. The address is www.eq-productions.com slash saudio.htm for the most up-to-date information from Southern Arkansas University. That Internet address, once again, is www.eq-productions.com slash saudio.htm. Be sure to listen to SAU Magazine each weekend on this station. And remember, on your computer, it's just a click away on the World Wide Web. That's www.eq-productions.com slash saudio.htm for SAU Magazine. With this week's SAU calendar, I'm Michael Long. On Monday, November the 8th, CAP testing will be held in Wharton Nursing Building, Freshman Family Week begins, and at 4.30, the IMPACT team will meet in the Bruce Center in Conference Room 2. On Tuesday, Chi Alpha will host a free lunch at 12 p.m. and TNT at the ABS Center at 7 p.m. Wednesday, Alpha Phi Alpha hosts the Dangers of Sex Seminar in the Bruce Center at 7 p.m. Thursday is Veterans Day, CAP testing continues, and MSBF will host Food for Thought from 11.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m., and Chi Alpha will have Praise and Worship at 7.11 p.m. Friday, student timesheets are due, and BSU wraps up Freshman Family Week. Saturday, the Lady Riderettes will have an away game, and the Mule Riders football team will have an away game at Arkansas Tech. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.